So your PC is running fine, but all of a sudden, you're not getting the same frames per second in all your games. Today, we're going to talk about the 5 reasons why you're making your PC slow. Coming up. Hey what's up guys, it's Mac here and we do a lot of tech related videos like this one. If this is your first time, consider subscribing. With that said, let's begin. There are a lot of reasons that's why your PC is running slow, but we're only going to talk about the 5 common reasons. Number 1. You got a lot of startup programs running in the background. These are the programs that you have installed that you might just click yes on everything and you did not see the part where it asks you if you would like to run that specific program during the Windows startup. Usually these are the Princess Driver, Spotify, Skype, Discord, Steam, and many more auto-update programs that are constantly using your system processes. I mean, if you are using these programs every time you open your PC, then I guess it's fine. But if not, disable them in the startup and just run the program if you're going to use it. My point is, don't run these programs if you're not using it to lessen the system processes. Now to fix this, right click the taskbar, go to task manager, then click startup, then disable all unnecessary programs. Number 2. Your CPU and GPU temperature are too high. Yes, high temperature on both CPU and GPU can cause a slow PC performance. Conditions such as heat, does excessive humidity all can damage or lessen the performance of your computer external and internal temperature causes fluctuations of performance and the solution for this is to clean your pc once every six months or at least once a year change the thermal phase in your cpu or gpu once a year if you're using a very cheap or pre-applied thermal paste Try using Arctic MX4 or Thermal Greasy Cryonaut if you don't want to change the thermal phase more often. Check the description below if you want to buy the thermal paste today. You're a part of the PC Master Race now. You got to learn how to do this one way or another. Number 3. Your game graphics settings are way too much for your PC to handle. Sometimes you got to know the limitations of your system, so always go for the suggested graphics settings of the game for your system. If you don't want to mess with that graphic setting too much, that is. But if you do, just play around with the game graphic settings until you find what is suitable for your system. Good graphic settings without sacrificing the frames per second. At times, some game updates may demand more workload from your PC and this could also be the reason that's why you have lower FPS than before. So make sure you read the update logs of your games just in case. If this happened, there is nothing we can do but just to tweak our graphic settings accordingly. Number 4. You need to update your drivers. I'm talking about the graphic card driver and the Windows 10 updates. It's better to have the latest driver than to suffer the problems later on. So the solution is simple. Update Windows by pressing the Windows key on your keyboard, type Windows Update and check updates if there is any. Now for the graphics card driver, this may depend if you're using AMD or NVIDIA. For AMD, right click your desktop and choose AMD Radeon Software and over here you will see driver and software you will see if there's any release update. Just download it and install it afterwards. And now for NVIDIA, just go to NVIDIA Game Ready and check for updates then download it and install if there is any. Number 5. Your XMP or DOCP is disabled. You might not know that enabling XMP or DOCP will make your PC run faster. Surprisingly, enabling XMP or DOCP will give you a big boost to FPS. For those who doesn't know what XMP or DOCP is, XMP means Extreme Memory Profile. DOCP means Direct Overclock Profile which the functions are the same, it's just the naming scheme of motherboard manufacturers call it. Usually MSI, ASRock, Gigabyte motherboard called this XMP and for ASUS it's called DOCP. So by default, these are disabled in your BIOS so I suggest enable it to have a better performance. But before I'll teach you how to do that, please be warned that your PC may lose display signal if the compatibility of your PC parts does not work with enabling XMP or DOCP. 
If ever that happens, don't panic. I'll teach you how to fix that issue later. Now let's enable your XMP or DOCP, shall we? To do this, restart your PC, spam the delete key in your keyboard to enter BIOS, or check your motherboard manual if delete key doesn't work for your PC to enter BIOS. Now for MSI BIOS, there is a button like this and it's called XMP. Just simply click that to enable it, unsave setting, and exit BIOS. For Gigabyte, go to MIT, then XMP, and choose Profile 1. Save settings and exit BIOS. For ASUS motherboard, go to AI Tweaker, AI Overclock Tuner, then choose DOCP. Save settings and exit BIOS. For ASRAC motherboards, go to OC Tweaker, load XMP setting, choose Profile 1, and then again, save settings and exit BIOS. This will increase your RAM speed and it will give you a pretty big boost on FPS. Now if for some reason your display has no signal after enabling XMP or DOCP, this means that it is not compatible with your current build, I mean your PC build. You just need to reset the BIOS to get your display back again and to do that, power drain your PC by pressing the power button on while it is unplugged. Remove the CMOS battery for 5 minutes and place it back again before powering your PC back on. And you'll surely have your display back. So how about overclocking everything else? Well, I guess that's another topic for another video. If you have any more reason other than what we have in this video, please let us know in the comment section below so we can help each other in this community. So that's it guys, this is Mark and I hope you find this video interesting and helpful. If it does, make sure you give us a thumbs up and share it. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.